Hello and welcome to a brand new This is Public Broadcasting companion series, TIPB Tidbits. This is where we look at individual PBS and PBS Kids episodes and other subjects that don't warrant a full TIPB episode. For the first TIPB tidbit, we'll take a look at Cyber Chase, the Pottleville case, the infamous lost Cyber Chase pilot. Before Cyber Chase hit the screens of PBS stations across the nation in 2002, a small pilot episode was created by WNET 13 New York and Curious Pictures. It was written by Magic School Bus writer Jocelyn Stevenson and producer Kristen Laskus Martin, along with British TV writer Peter Cauley. Music was performed by Peter Lurie, who also wrote the theme to The Magic School Bus. Yvette Kaplan sat in the director's chair with animations produced by Studio B Productions. The episode features Earth children Matt, Jackie, and Inez landing in the pattern-based community of Pottleville, while Buzz and Delete busy themselves with stealing the Pottle's eggs for the evil hacker. However, the thefts result in the Pottleville society being twisted out of shape. Quite literally, it's up to the Earth kids and a young Pottle to put a stop to hackers' plans. The pilot was shown in classrooms across the country in 1999 to gauge the interest of school children in the full series. As soon as production of Cyber Chase moved to Nirvana, the original pilot was put away and did not see the light of day again until February 2021, when storyboard cleanup artist Gino Potti uploaded it to the Internet Archive. Now, I know what you're all thinking. This episode wasn't lost, Cap. It made it to TV. Well, to that I say... You're right! Quite right! After Cyber Chase was picked up by PBS, Nelvana retooled the original pilot as the show's seventh episode of the first series. Watching the two side by side, the differences really shine through. Most pointedly, the pilot uses different voice actors compared to the show proper. For example, Show Jackie is voiced by Novi Edwards, while Pilot Jackie is voiced by Joanna Reinhardt. So, Jane Jetson needs Martha Stewart. Whatever, I still think they're cute. And we all know Christopher Lloyd is the hacker, but the pilot had him voiced by Tom Christopher, who also voiced him in a few PC games. So, Pogavell will be <laughs> As usual, the brilliant evil mastermind must do all the work. Still, a few of the original voice clips are heard in the episode proper. The aliens! They've escaped! Capture them! The original pilot, clocked in at 24 minutes, opposed to the episode's runtime of 22 minutes with an extra for real segment hosted by actor Kareem Blackwell. At least three minutes of the pilot were shaved off the episode runtime, and a few scenes were reanimated by Nelvana. None more apparent than scenes involving Motherboard. I'll let the difference speak for itself. I never thought I'd get out of there. Oh, trees can be so tricky. Thanks, kids. Curious Pictures and Jocelyn Stevenson left Cyberchase after the pilot to work on other projects. Stevenson became a writer for Barney and Friends, while Curious Pictures went on to work on the animated programs Codane Kids Next Door and Lil Einstein's. Peter Cauley wrote for The Zack Files, while Kristen Laskus Martin stuck around as producer of Cyber Chase until 2015. If you're curious, the pilot is viewable on both the Internet Archive and on YouTube. Links are in the description below. Now, for the PBS Member Station Spotlight, we shall be taking a look at WCMU-TV in Michigan. WCMU was founded in 1967 by Central Michigan University in Mount Pleasant. It became a member station for the National Educational Television Network, and in 1970, joined with the new Public Broadcasting Service. In 1975, WCMU set up a satellite station in Alpena, followed by two more in Cadillac and Manistee in 1984. In 2010, WCMU took over operations of WFUM from the University of Michigan, but ceased broadcast on the station in 2017. Programming for WCMU includes local programs such as Ask the Specialists, Capital Report, Destination Michigan, Quiz Central, and Linking Land and Lakes. If you are in Central Michigan, you can tune in to WCMU on these stations with PBS Kids on the Dot 2 channel, Create on the Dot 3 channel, 
and the Michigan Learning Channel on the Dot4 channel. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. Do you think there are other subjects I should tackle for TIPB tidbits? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I might consider them for a future episode. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, don't forget to support your local PBS stations. Until next time, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.